and welcome back to APW, Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling Help for Homes. I am Keith Ford, and across from me is Dixie Williford. And hi, and welcome back to APW Help for Homes. Uh, we are not only doing a radio show, but you can check us out on our Facebook page. Um, you can go to our podcast. Uh, we actually always film a little bit of a radio show on our Facebook page and post it there in YouTube as well. APW, Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling is where you can go on our Facebook page and to YouTube to go check us out in our crazy show. You can see this stuff on YouTube? You can see it on YouTube. Yeah, does yeah. anyone actually look at it? Of course. Really? Yeah, yeah. We are How six you know? million listeners, of course. Huh. We've got, yeah, we've got... Uh, I'm going to go on YouTube and look at it. Yeah, we've got other um, videos there um, as far as, like, I've got the toilet video. The Toto Tool, it's amazing. And I uh, show all the things it flushes. I've got an, also a video about tanked versus tankless. So you can kind of have compare the ideas of what tanked and tankless does. Um, so on the YouTube channel, so go check that out. Um, so welcome back again to APW Help for Homes. Dix, uh, I'm mine, Dixie Williford, and right. across from me is Keith Ford. And we wear my Rolling Stone shirt. Right. Uh, my mom's gonna be mad at me again. Yeah, you didn't dress up I for the radio. To dress up, jeez. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna win this battle. You have a yeah, you've got a body for radio. Um, so anyway, welcome back to APW Help for Homes. <laughs> Keith and I run APW Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. We hope you get experience the Dixie difference with our great customer service. Our our great service techs, a great um, valued pricing, and um, a, the great service and warranties that we have. So that's a, a, a quick, quick uh, synopsis of what the Dixie difference is all about um, for any of your plumbing, heating, and air conditioning needs. Obviously, we are in air conditioning season right now, and so we want to tell you about some great rebates that are going on between Kansas City uh, Power and Light Inspire Energy, and uh, they've got rebates combined up to eight hundred dollars. And guess what? APW is going to be matching those rebates until we run out of money. And uh, so for the rest of um, June here, we're matching those rebates. So you get a total of up to $1,600. So if you replace your furnace and air conditioner, you can call us for a free estimate right now. Call 913-825-6600. Um, or you can go to thedixiedifference.com. And again, we'll get you set up for that free estimate. So you folks can be your own best judge of whether or not we can help you out in the future for your your replacement of your furnace and air conditioner. And, and folks, really, get ahead of the game. We have so many people out there that are getting these free estimates because their air conditioner has failed. It's failing. It's old. It has the R22 refrigerant, which they don't make anymore. The EPA has discontinued and has forced manufacturers to discontinue making air conditioners that use R22. So if you're, um, and there's a lot of you out there, so um, replacing, um, it may be a better option for you if you've got that 15 plus year old system, you need to go ahead and start looking at the options of getting the brand new, higher efficiency, better safety, and 410A refrigerant in it instead of the R22. So anywho, I know Keith, you're dying at the bit to talk about changing the subject a bit about tanked water heaters. So uh, this is another thing that people wait till the end. Their t water heater fails, no hot water in the house, and then they're forced to figure out, well, what do I do about it? So we want to know a well, couple things we're going to talk about. What to look for before you find yourself in the predicament of no hot water. And then also to educate you, the homeowner, that there are options. You don't have to just go back with a, a water heater. You can actually go with tankless. So we'll go over those options of what a tankless water heater is. But before you find yourself without any hot water, what are some things that actually um, can give you indicators of when that failure might happen? Okay. Four things, right? Besides the popping that we talked about earlier, if you hear your crackling or popping your water heater, it's done. And then, of course, if you have the crystal forest growing on top of your water heater, it's also done. Anything that grows on top of the water heater, it's probably a bad sign. Right. So, but there's four things that we look for that aren't as obvious to show. Uh, then we talk to the homeowner that their water heater is failing. So, the four things are rust on the water heater. And that's the first thing on your inlet line and your hot water line leaving. So your inlet line is typically where your shutoff valve is going to be. So people can't see your hands right now well, unless they're watching yeah. our YouTube well, video or our Facebook. YouTube. But it is on top of the water right. heater. So we are right. on the top of the water heater right now when you're looking. Because we've got resting on the bottom as well. But you are focused on top right now. Go oh, ahead. You are amazing. <laughs> okay, so top. there you go. So the inlet line and the hot water line going out, if those are rusted, obviously 
with rust, you must replace your water heater. Now, you have to understand is the water... it's only going to get worse and uh, and leak. Right, just wanted to finish your sentence. That's right. what we do. That's what married couples do. We finish each other's sentences. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I think you, you just finish, finish all my sentences. I don't <laughs> think I get to do yours. Okay, so, <laughs> so you have a tanked water heater, correct? Now, what you see on the outside is a shell. And so it's just a metal shell, you have insulation, and then you actually have the tanked water heater itself. So if we have rusting coming through, you are already leaking, most likely, right? So you look for it at the bottom of the water heater, you look for it at the top of the water heater, and the inlets and outlets. So, uh, and then I'm going to go through all four, and then we're going to go back through the downfalls of each one of those four. The second one is you look for your temperature and pressure. when to replace your water. And just in case you just caught up with us here, you just tuned in, we're talking about when is it time to replace your water heater or indicators of when your water heater is failing. And so, number one, again, rust. Rust on the top, inlet and outlet, and on the bottom. Yeah, and then, it's leaking. Yep. So, number two is if your cold water line is hot, going into your water heater, and your temperature and pressure relief valve is hot, you need to replace your water heater, right? Because there's a baffle that's supposed to stop the hot water from going through, but that's, it's overheating it's enough, baffling. it's not doing it. You're so smart. <laughs> Such, so, is that where baffling came from? I, I like that. Okay. Okay, and then the next one is soot. Now, soot is just gonna be, uh, typically you're gonna see some black streaks, a one above the temperature and pressure relief valve, and if you have an older water heater, above the pilot light. A, and if you see the black marks coming out, that means that it's burning impurely and it's soot. So hence, your heating, uh, the heating elements are go are bad and you're putting carbon monoxide in the Okay, house. so I don't think any right. soot marks, meaning there's fire, and, is a good thing. No, 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 it's not. And then the last one is looking for black or red staining on the top of the water heater where the flu is at. Not the regular light dirt that you'd see because none of us clean our water heaters, but it's black or red staining at the top of the water heater. Your water heater needs to be replaced. Oh we can go goodness. through all four, okay. what they are, the damages. So all you just stuff. went only two reasons why there might be a water failure coming your way. We've got two more we're going to head to. Um, and then so you don't find yourself in that horrible predicament of not having any hot water. So we have got to take a quick break. You're listening to APW Help for Homes. If you have questions or issues, need some help, give us a call at 913. 825-6600 or go to thedixiedifference.com. We'll be back in just a moment.